So today has been an incredibly tough day for all South Africans. I've hardly seen a single Facebook or Twitter status the whole day that doesn't mention Madiba. Uh, I spent some time at the Grand Parade in town, which is where Madiba gave his first uh, speech to the nation after his prison sentence. And I just became so overwhelmed with emotion, with tears streaming down my face uh, as we were singing and dancing together and... There were just people from all backgrounds and cultures and races, which is something that's very rare in South Africa. It doesn't occur here very often. One thing I've noticed today is that uh, everyone seems to be reading a lot about Madiba. Um, there are newspaper articles everywhere about him. Uh, a bunch of us went to go and watch the Madiba movie tonight, and it was very moving. Uh, I, I, I think the overwhelming consensus was that uh, everyone got to see a different side to him that we don't normally associate. We think of Madiba as the friendly old grandpa, essentially, and not the fighter and revolutionary um, that he really was. Today, a bunch of surfer friends of mine went out and did a remembrance paddle in honor of Madiba, and they all sat in a circle out on the water and had a moment's silence for him. And I just think it's really awesome how everyone seems to be finding their own unique way to remember him. We're here at the Cape Town Stadium for the Nelson Mandela Memorial and the buzz is just amazing. I love my diva. Can I have a hug? Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> The biggest thing that I'm taking out of this week is that I really want to take Nelson Mandela's legacy that he's left us and make that a reality in my own life. Not let Nelson Mandela just be someone that I remember as a, a good person who's done something incredible for our country, but as someone who's left us with a responsibility to, to take forth in our own lives.